All right, this is Wayne here with Tri-County Locksmith Service, and today we're going to be checking out the Norton 60 or 1601 closer. Um, this closer here, this is part of our door modification here. Uh, we're, we're showing how you could actually turn this door uh, into an electrified or electronic access door. And when you get the opportunity to do so, you definitely need to at least check the rest of the door for health. And one of the most problematic uh, parts of the door is going to be the door closer. This one has a bunch of goo on it, it's very sticky, the oil has come out of it, and it's not functioning properly anymore. It's no longer doing its job the way that it's supposed to be doing it. Uh, this one has some really odd geometry on it too, so I don't know if that's properly installed or not. You'll also notice the bend in the arm. So, number one, it's blown out, the seal is blown out, there's no fixing that, we need to replace it. One of my favorite replacements is the Norton door closer, uh, the 1601, because it gives us a wide range of uh, pressures that you can use to open it. You can dial this back almost to like 5 PSI or pressure pounds for opening force, <clears throat> which is what some states are mandating now, uh, like California and Colorado. Um, and it's also a really easy unit to install, it's affordable, you can stock these on the truck, and it does just about everything pretty well. If you have a lot heavier duty application, you'll need a heavier duty closer, but this is going to do 80% of the work that you need to do. Uh, again, you're going to be working up here, you don't want people coming in and out and jerking on the door. Set up a cone inside and outside, you can also set up some caution tape, protect yourself, and protect the customers around you. All the oil and everything coming off of this thing, it's going to be kind of a dirty job. <clears throat> That's going to take the pressure off of there. You can see just how loose and worn out that is. This thing just needs to go. Wood screws in aluminum, not exactly perfect match. Now that the old closer is out of the way, we can get the measurements for the new closer. Do not just trust the old measurements. Uh, that's going to be a common mistake that most people are going to make. I know that I measured this before I took this off of here and I know that those holes are not put in the correct place. The new closer is going to be six on six, which is going to be the easiest measurement to both remember and install. All right, so the first thing that you need to decide is which style of mounting that you're going to use. You can mount the closer on the door itself or you can mount it on the frame above um, or you can mount it in a concealed version. Any way that you choose, just make sure you plan on what the customer is going to want. A lot of people don't like to see the arm sticking out if it's a very fancy establishment and they're very concerned about architecture. You're going to want to mount it in the concealed position. It just takes some more steps to do so. We're going to be mounting this similar to the way that the old one was mounted, but we're going to be using the exact specific measurements that go to this unit, and that is six on six. The reason that I say that is it's always burned into my brain anytime I use this closer from the top of the door and from the hinge line, okay? So from where the hinges actually pivot. So from here to the first hole on the closer is going to be measurement A. If we do the 101 to 120 degree uh, operation, that is gonna be six inches. That is the most common and the easiest one to remember. If you need a wider uh, angle to open, you would use this measurement, which is three and a half, or if you need less, it would be the seven and a half. Six is going to do 80% of the work that I do. So it's gonna be six inches to the first hole here, and then our other measurement is gonna be six inches to the first hole of the arm. Those are just burned into my brain you'll always have six on six if you're doing this style of installation with that degree of operation. That's what we're gonna do here. I'm gonna pre-drill the holes. These self-tapping screws are, are okay. 
um, but they can be a little bit difficult when you're trying to run them in fresh. You can skip off of them or they can deflect a bit and then you might scratch the surface. That you, doesn't really happen when you use a step bit or a pre-drill bit, so that's why we're gonna use that first and then we're gonna run these in there. First thing we need to do is get our measurement for the first hole. is going to be from our pivot point, don't forget that, to six inches, and then from six inches there, we're going to have six inches here. Okay. Right there. So this header is exactly as wide as the closer, so you're going to be limited on any kind of movement. You're going to need to mount it right square, right in the middle, and you'll need to offset your arm accordingly. So we got here, 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 and here. Just the first notch on the step bit is all it's going to take to get most of the material out of the way. It's nice if you have an automatic punch to center up the bit so it does not walk, but we do not have that option at this time. So I'm not trying to both thread the screw and hold the closer up. I'm gonna run the first screw in. And then put the closer up so that we don't have any issues. using an impact driver be ultra careful it will strip these out in a heartbeat if you have stripped out holes or giant holes um, in here and you cannot do this method look into getting a blind nut or a nut zert kit that's going to allow you to oversize drill it and add a blind nut in there and it's going to be practically bulletproof after that it'll be as strong as the frame is it's not going to come off of there if you had blind nuts or nut zerts I like to install those uh, as we install the door closer, but we don't have that option on this one. So for the next one, we're actually gonna come right here. We're gonna get the measurement and double check, and then we're gonna drill the holes for those. Okay. So now we're gonna get the down measurement from the bolt, from where the top screws are down to where the bottom screws on the arm are gonna be, needs to be an inch and a half difference. So we need to be an inch and a half down from the bottom of the bolts. And six inches over, that's where that six on six is gonna come in. So to be an inch and a half, we need to be right there and right there and I actually use the arm to give my measurement from one hole to the next because we're measuring from this hole to this hole so we need six from there to there 
and then we need inch and a half down from the center of the screw line down. Those are gonna be the measurements for the arm here. That's to keep the arm from hitting itself as you pull the door open. So now that we've got that marked out, I'm gonna pre-drill it with the uh, step bit again, and then we'll switch back over to the Phillips head and install it. installed. Just need to connect the two. Like so. And you want to put just a little bit of tension on the actual Closer. Vice grips uh, <clears throat> or a crescent wrench work really nice. Okay, so that way we can get a little bit of turn and have a little bit of tension on it when we actually apply it. best if we had a wrench for this and do not have one handy so we're just using what we have at hand. your spring tension on this side is going to be the main bolt and then you're going to have the back swing and you're going to be able to control the speed all with this wrench. Um, it's going to be a matter of preference and it's going to be a matter of what your customer wants. So this is the point where I'll usually ask the customer what kind of speed they want, what kind of customer base they have, if they have a more elderly or handicapped um, or kids. Uh, clientele base, I'm going to make that a real nice slow swing. If it's somewhere where they're trying to keep the heat or air conditioning in, we'll speed it up a little bit. So that's the Norton Closer. Thanks for watching.